This is a jackfruit. It is super sticky. It is a bad one, actually. So we're gonna bring it back, but I just wanted to show everybody. So be prepared if you buy a jackfruit, how sticky it is. I've been washing my hands for 30 minutes and I still have the stickiness on them. But that's the seed of the jackfruit. I don't think it'll grow here in Arizona. Have you had, anybody had one of these before? I looked down instead of up, that's funny. Anyone had one of these before? <laughs> Like when it's enough to wrap it around with the tree, so. Uh -huh. So this is a tree. So he wrap it, he wrap it like around the tree. So he cut the tree and wrap this thing. And then he goes to rice field and put the tree in where the rice field is. And then the, the little tree that he made the bird will land in it, and then when the bird land in it, he can go anywhere because it gets stuck with this sticky thing. So he will grab the bird alive and put it in like a bird cage, and then he sell the bird. So he used the the jackfruit is so sticky he caught birds with it. Instead of using a slingshot to kill the bird, he doesn't kill Instead the of a bird. slingshot, that's, he was a humane brother. He used, I remember, he used to like, he, I don't know, he liked to climb in the coconut tree, like broken coconut tree. So one day my dad told him, just like, you can have fall one day in the coconut tree, climbing on the coconut tree that is dead. And I said, well, well, that's where the bird, like, land on the egg, lay on eggs on it. So he go hunting. At one time he went hunting <laughs> and in this coconut tree is by the lake, but I don't know, pond or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that, there's two coconut trees. So it was so long, it, there's, it's really dead. So he went all the way and he knows it's dead. And then there's like been this um, big, what is those worm, big worm. They eat coconut tree. Uh -huh. So the big worm eat that halfway. There's, so there's nothing in the top. So he went all the way in the top and then the coconut tree cut in half. It wasn't funny, but it's funny now. It broke in half? It broke in half with him in it. And he got lucky. He got lucky that there's water in there. Otherwise you would probably, I don't know what would happen to him. He fell in the water? Yes. Oh, okay. And he got stuck in it like half of his leg. <laughs> it was funny, but it wasn't funny, but it's funny. <laughs> he was like stupid. And then so my dad told him, so have you learned your lesson yet? It was funny. It was funny. I still don't know if she gets it. I think he learned your lesson. I think so. So that's why probably he was doing the... The birds? The bird thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He, I don't know why he wasn't like flying on the coconut tree and getting, getting a bird egg. That's Stories Virginia of the Week. Say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching with my story with my brother and his job. <laughs> so, freaking babies. I want to have my own tree. I want, it's a big tree. This is avocado. My uncle has a tree, avocado tree, and I don't know, like the tree wasn't really that big, but me and my cousin climbed in that tree, but I almost fall off. But I remember climbing a coconut tree, so after like school, and me and my cousin climbed a coconut tree. It's so funny because she told me my cousin's daughter was messaging me in messenger and said oh my mama i miss you she said she she told me right now that you and her used to climb a coconut tree and i said yes my uncle has a lot of coconut tree mm -hmm. and his own line and it just yeah love you babe i love you too